Alright, so here we are going with version 10.8 of Full Self Driving Beta. Now we're going to go to the same location as always. We're going to the Supercharger in Carmel, Indiana. So it should be the same route. We'll see how this goes. Now here we have the same road as before, the car still will not go fast enough on this road. It seems to have issues with these unmarked roads and here we're going to complete stop. Uh, so it's still having issues when the road is not marked, both doing speed and figuring out that there are two lanes here. Now that we're back on the lanes, it looks like there's no issues here at all, nailing that water. And that seems to be another issue that I continue to have. Now what's nice here is as we're taking this turn, it's no longer jumping into that lane to the right. So that's an improvement. And here's our first roundabout. Coming to a complete stop pretty early, but we did make it out. That was pretty decent compared to how this has been going. Our second roundabout here, no cars, and it's gonna stop. Oh, we completely stopped in the middle of the roundabout and I just ended up having to take over. Still having a lot of issues with these roundabouts and I don't know what else it's going to take to get these figured out but that was a random complete stop did not want to do anything now coming up here on the traffic light ahead previously the car would jump into this lane right here which is actually too early so now it's doing it right on time which is great and the light did turn green so i didn't get a chance to see how well it took that right hand turn with a red light So now here we go coming up on this construction. We had our first lane change right there to the left lane for whatever reason. We'll see if it wants to stay in this lane. Oh, kind of got over the line there a little bit. That was definitely interesting. But this does like to switch lanes a lot through here. So we'll just have to see. Going over so far so good. It did switch lanes again and now it wants to switch lanes yet again. But it uh, ended up canceling that. And now that the speed limit has picked up, it is going to go ahead and try to pass this car. So, still a few random lane changes, but other than that, that was not too bad overall. Now pay attention to the left as we go through this intersection. It looks like it sees something and it tries to scoot over to the right. It even slowed down to make sure there was enough room to do so. This was an issue I had a lot in 10.5 where it was seeing these signs in the middle of the road and thinking it was people. Now it's not doing that anymore, which is great news, but I'm not sure what the autopilot system is seeing that it's making it want to avoid. So definitely interesting that that's still happening, but this time it's more random. So now we're coming up to this left and that yellow blinking left means we can go. The car did stop and then it stopped again right in the middle of the intersection. So it's still having some issues figuring out these yellow lights and we are back now with a bunch of roundabouts. So here's the next one right here. And the car goes, came to a stop, but then started going and kind of stopped again there in the middle. So 
definitely still having some of these same issues with different roundabouts. Now this next one is usually really good for the car, so we'll just have to see how it takes this. Now it does come to a stop because there is a car in the circle, but it uh, did take that just fine. It was a little jerky, but other than that, it did do what it was supposed to. This here is a figure eight, so it is complicated. It does stop and it waits for a number of cars before ultimately I gave it a nudge to go. So going around this actually went pretty good and it did not jet over to the right lane there like it did last time. It still thinks it's a 50 mile an hour road, which it's not. And unfortunately it does switch over here to the wrong lane. That is a turn lane and we do not want to be in that lane. So this is our other tight roundabout here and the car came to a stop and it kind of freaked out there at the end so much that the camera fell over completely. It was very jerky, so sorry about that. Coming up here around this next bend, which has traditionally been an issue for us. It slows down quite a bit around this like it can't see, but now it seems to be handling that way better. And here we are with our figure eights again. These are very complicated. This time it did really well and then it tries to figure out which lane to be in and that is a recurring issue over here. It's swapping lanes a lot and since you're going left to right, right to left, it can be very aggressive. Now this last one coming around here, same kind of thing. It's trying to figure out where the lanes are and it actually kicked us out because it uh, just could not figure out exactly where the lanes are. It's a two lane roundabout. And right here, our last roundabout does have better markings, so it seems to handle it a lot better. So there's definitely been quite a bit of improvement in 10.8 compared to previous versions. Even just compared to 10.7, the car is way smoother in most situations. And although it hasn't quite figured out roundabouts as much as I would like it to, there's no doubt that it is getting better. And that's a really good thing. Now there's still tons of improvement to be done here. Still tons of work to be done. And eventually this will be ready for prime time, but it is not there yet. And for our area, because it's Christmas day when I'm filming this, there's a lot less people out there. So there's a lot less worrying about people flipping me off and honking at me, which happens quite a bit on full self-driving beta. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.